the question is not whether or not to divest. The question is why are you there in the first place? If you Um, I managed a, a couple of very large pension funds in my career. They were both very solid um, and remained so even after I left, and that's great. Um, and I made a lot of money for fossil fuel companies. So this is today. This is like the beginning. This is the stock market this year. All those little squiggly lines are different sectors of the economy. The red one in the middle is the standard and Poor's 500. The um, the light blue one near the bottom, that's fossil fuels. That's below the standard and Poor's 500 for the first six months of this year. They're at the bottom, right? It means they're making less than everybody else. That used to be, that big brown line at the top, that used to be fossil fuels. That was fossil fuels for the, the time up until maybe the big beginning of the 90s, um, from, from back from the 60s on. So they dominated it, they contributed immensely to all of your pension funds, um, and that, that is what we think, that is what they want us to think will return. In 1980, that blue line by energy, they were third, almost 30% of the pension funds that I managed when I first came into them. And they were making 20, 30% a year, and those returns were enormous, and they drove the index, they drove the indexes, they drove my fund, they drove actually other investments as well in the fund that were outside the stock market um, that we got involved with them in. And, and today, it's about 5%. So over that period of time, the rest of the economy grew, and the energy sector shrunk. And the reason they shrunk is that at, at, in the 80s, they were high risk and high return. Today, they remain high risk, actually even higher risk than climate change, and low returns. And that's why they sunk to this level. So one of the leading CEOs said this last Friday, he says, Technological advances developed by the industry have been the cause of its slow suicide. There will be a reckoning, and the only question is whether it happens in a controlled manner or whether it comes as an unexpected shock to the system. That is a man in the largest tracking company in the United States, he was on the CEO, even though he was talking about it's not just stuff we're making up. These guys are in trouble, they will remain in trouble, and if you think about if you think about what I showed you in terms of having a industry, a whole industry that's lagging the market, like at the bottom, and somebody tells you, you know, you're gonna lose money, the question is how? Because you can invest in anything else and make more money. And to me, the question is not whether or not to divest. The question is why are you there in the first place? If you have a if you have a uh, a sector that has poorly performed for over a decade and it looks like it's going to get worse. Why are you even there? Why aren't you know why aren't you making the moves to get out? 